Okay, today is day five. So what we're gonna do here today, I don't know that I need to capture much of this because we already showed you how to do it. I'll probably run the camera for a few minutes, but uh, we're gonna make all these cuts and this, or everything is kind of moved this way. What we want to do is get the flooring done so we can get the table out of here, put the saw away so we can work on our little finer details, the pressure washer, TV, sonic cabinets that are going here in the entry and the uh, finishing up electrical for the uh, power, power cord reel over there on the other side. So we went to Home Depot for seventh time, so, um, no, sixth time, you yeah. know, if we could exclude Ed's. No, we've gone once a day. Yeah, five times. Yesterday we went twice. Yeah, we six did. times. Yeah. yeah, we did. You're yeah. right. So anyway, that doesn't matter. We're experts at this. Uh, as you might imagine, any project, that's the way it goes. You need to go and you figure out and you realize you need this or that and I need this tool. Uh, we don't have all our tools with us, so it means we got to go get stuff. And we've added projects as well. Yeah, yeah, we've added on some other things. All right, so we're going to cut the floor and uh, and then we'll show you the, the results. I mean, there's going to be a lot of results that come together today. We're going to we're going to go long, go late if we have to. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, I've been known to quit early, even when I plan on going long. So let's we get a tape measure. We need some sharpies. All right. So we finished this room all the way up to the edge. I'll get the gimbal out here and show you what it looks like. But uh, yeah, this room is done. We're gonna take a little little break. So I'm starting to make some wonky measurements here. And uh, makes Mike's making fun of my method. I'll go five plus. Five and a half plus two lines. Yeah, not five, five minus one line. <laughs> <laughs> I know what it is, dummy. I just don't have it memorized. I'm a white collar wannabe. So look at that transition. The one goof on Facebook, I wanted to punch him in the virtual face. He's like, uh, the transition's the worst I've ever seen. I mean, you lost your freaking mind. You have no idea what you're talking about. This transition is sick, it looks great. Just, ah, it looks awesome, that contrast of porcelain tile to Swiss tracks, and we talked about this a bunch. You know, this tile is not, um, it's not rated for, you know, I don't know what, what density needs to be, but a certain, certain PSI rating in order to be able to drive on it. So it, it's technically not drivable, it would likely crack if you had too heavy or too concentrated of a vehicle. But we got this all set up, all nice. Let me just take the camera over here, show you the transition. So we finished up our corners. Cut in there, have our transition piece. So the secondary garage is done. Uh, we're gonna take a few minute break and then we're gonna on, on do something else. And then we're gonna move the table out of here, get this all cleaned up. And, uh, and uh, we'll move over to the next little garage and start working on that. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're, it's coming together. We're in, the, uh, we're in the, the final throws here. We may do that closet. We'll see how much time we have. Because um, there's a bunch of bunch of little projects we got to get done here to get uh, get this place dialed in, and we have a you know a, a day and a day and three quarters to go. All right, it's the next day. We're back on finishing this up here. We had to go get uh, 20 amp, so we needed. Uh, we didn't forgot to tell Mike that the plug on that thing is. Uh, what is that called? Like a horizontal 20 amp? Yeah, like it's a 20 the, amp receptacle instead of a 15. Yeah, so, so one of the uh, We put it in and realized it was a, this is a 20. So yeah. in one of our many Home Depot runs, we went back and got the right receptacle. This is not sponsored by the Home Depot. This is sponsored by Matt Mormon, truly. For sure. Uh, and Michael uh, Figuera's um, energy and efforts and expertises. <laughs> Home Depot. Not so much. Not at all. Someday, though. Be that's nice. the goal. All right, so what we're doing here is shortening up the power cord. Yeah, and we need to make small. a nice little whip here. It kind of matches the inlet of the, uh, of the air. All right, so on this, what is this? 12-3? Uh, 12, uh, 12, this is 12-3, yes. Yeah. So take 12-3. I'm going to cut it back to length. And you could do this, this is just a whip, so, and you re reinstall the, the connector. It's pretty stout though. They sell this in a, um, in a 15 amp version, but I figure, you know, go big or go home, right? I mean, I, I'm not very good about, uh, like if I need 10 feet of, uh, of Romex, I'm gonna buy 100. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mike's like, no, we only need 15. I'm like, well, let's get 100. <laughs> oh yeah, outlet's done. Power cord shortened. 
All right. We'll turn the power back on, Maddie. Yeah. Let's make sure it works. All right, we're back from, we went and grabbed some ramen real fast. Got refreshed after finishing the Swiss tracks. Now Mike's wiring up uh, the pressure washer here. We have an outlet on the left there, so we're just adding an outlet. Or are we putting it or putting it up on top? I'm gonna put it on the very top of that shelf. That okay. way it's hidden, and then we can put all the cord, extra, excess cord all behind here to look nice and clean. Yeah, so while he's doing that, I get to steal all the joy. Open that crumb. All right, K1322TS. We should probably should have checked this day one to make sure there wasn't anything wrong with it. You know, this is 60 plus pounds in the box here. So getting this here intact, we do a pretty good job of it, but it has happened where UPS has dropped it off the back of the, in this case, FedEx has dropped it off the back of the, back of the truck, but it box these in two boxes. So box number one and box number two. So this pressure washer is rated 2.1 gallons per minute at 1300 PSI. My real world measurements gets us right at two gallons per minute at 1000 PSI, like 975, which is perfect for washing cars with a 4.0 nozzle. So there it is. So the boxes aren't generally correct. This is a you know, German HD10 box and uh, we're then put a label of the K1322. So this is the pressure washer that I flew to uh, to New York City to meet uh, Uwe and then uh, Ludwig Krenzla with the uh, with the guys from with Angela and um, was Jeff at the time from Krenzla USA, and we came up with this concept here to take the K1322 or sorry the K1622, which is a really underpowered machines for washing cars, at least the way that we want to wash it. So take the KT1622, change the wobble plane in it so we get more flow, a little less pressure, uh, and then we get uh, a shut off, a total, spot, total stop pressure switch. Uh, so that's what this is. And then in order to keep the cost down, because they had to change production line completely for this, uh, we took out the gun and wand since I don't want that anyway. And so that's what we have here. And so Ed is getting my full custom install package, piping, shelf, Cox hose reel, 100 foot Cobra jet hose, uh, Mosmatic gun and wand. Uh, this is the original gun and wand. I didn't have the, the new ones yet. They just came in this week. Uh, we'll be changing the packages here soon with the new OG version. And so I have exclusivity on this, even though Krenzler probably gets a call every day from some copier wanting to steal my joy, steal my, my work. But um, we've sold millions of these things and I think we're gonna sell lots more because I believe this is the greatest pressure washer on the planet, specifically for washing cars. So, uh, and it's, uh, it's really stout. So let me show you what it looks like. If you haven't seen this before, if you're one of Ed's people over here watching, thanks for joining us from the VinWiki channel. <coughs> I'm telling you, just start, just add this to your future Christmas list. This thing is freaking awesome and you'll see it. It's hard uh, in, on camera uh, because to, to really get a sense, uh, but this thing is insanely quiet and it's very reasonable to put on a shelf inside of the garage and not annoy your whole family. And I'm gonna continue to chase improving, improving, improving both the machines, the pumps, and how it's mounted, the way it's mounted on the shelf. So the power cord comes wrapped you lift it out, it has a nice handle on it. And there you go. It's about 50 pounds, 40, 40 and change. The instruction manual, you don't need that if you watch me because I tell you everything you need to know. Uh, we'll have oil and uh, when I get back next week, I'm gonna have Bryce and Mike get moving on and I have the oil. I also have all the maintenance parts and all of that stuff. I have a machine that needs maintenance sitting at OGHQ, so I'll be tearing it apart and re, you know, putting it back together with all the new parts to continue to show everybody how it works. 
So there's our pressure gauge. It's an oil fill gauge, oil filled gauge. So remember, it's always gonna have an air bubble in there and you're always gonna wonder, was well, it supposed to have that in there? Yes, it is. And remember it's bar on the outside and then on the, it's, uh, it's M, uh, M uh, Pascals on the blue and you're looking at the red gauge. And this should read somewhere around 1500, uh, 13 to 1500 on the gauge. Again, I don't really use the gauge very much. We have it tuned for you. So if you buy a package from me, I've got the right nozzle, the right gun, the right combination for you. So you don't have to worry too much about it. So nice, so clean. Can you tell I'm in love with this thing? I'm even more in love with it when after spending time up the Krenz, I go back and watch those videos of um, us tearing it apart and rebuilding it. It's, this is the same pump. This is a 16 millimeter pump. It's the same pump as the K1122. All right, so let's work through our, let's get our CR unboxed. Ready to go. At least I can do something while Mike's doing all the manly stuff. This is a common theme. I get, to, I get to do all the fun stuff. And Mike does all the stuff that I'm too stupid to do. Makes him feel good when I say that though. So, CR Spotless is a perfect solution for a garage like this. Or Ed's gonna use this every once in a while. A lot of times he'll be rinsing the car and just letting it air dry. And so this is a really solid solution for somebody that is gonna do something like that. Not, he's not gonna be washing cars a ton. But if you're doing high, high volume and you're doing a lot of use and your water's really hard, you know, we may wanna do something more stout. I'm working on that. I need to get back with Glenn from RV Transformers. His solution is really solid. Much, much more stout than the uh, CR version. But this one just looks so darn pretty. And it's hard to, hard to do anything else. Uh, and so the way it comes is you get two cartridges, which we'll set aside here. You get the main head, which we'll mount in a few minutes. And then there's a little kit that you get as well. So you get some stuff that I'm gonna probably discard most of this comes with, this is the DIW20. So you're gonna, you're definitely gonna need a DIW20 for, if you're gonna do Krenzla. So we won't need these. Oh, I won't need any tape, because we got tape. We don't need the, the hose. All that we need are the centering rings. We won't need any of this other stuff. I'll just set this aside, and certainly we don't need that. So I've got hardware kit the shelf and the pressure washer. And then we send this from HQ. Osmatic wand holder, jumper hose. I have a new jumper hose solution coming that matches this, now that we buy enough volume. 100 foot Cobra Jet hose with our one end already installed. Now this is the Original Mosmatic gun. A new one didn't come in in time, but this thing is legit too. So we got that. Our wand, before I freak out, comes inside of our wand holder. So this is ready for our gun. Gun and wand. And then we have a little accessory pack with the nozzle and the fittings that we need. We also didn't get the PF22.2 in time, but this is prepped and ready for Krenzla. Has a 1.25 nozzle and a stainless steel fitting on it. Another 3 8 coupler for our jumper hose. A M22 connection. And then our nozzle for here. There you go. Yeah. So we put a outlet up top here. We don't have to see it on the front, even better. So he's able to grab it from right here probably get by with having the pressure washer sit on the shelf by itself, but we're gonna put some anti-vibration clamps on it to get it centered up. Oh yeah, you can push it all the way back if we wanted to. I'd say give it a little bit of room, like a, maybe a half inch gap. Because normally you'd have it up against the wall, so yeah, there's actually no worked wall out now. great. Yep. The unloader valve sits Everything. back behind there. Man, that looks so pretty. 
It's so nice without seeing the cord or anything either. Yeah. Honestly, the only person can see it is Ed. Yeah, I'll deal with it. Well, we're <laughs> gonna tuck it behind there. <laughs> you couldn't get him to change the color blue? No, I don't have that much pull. One day. All right, where are the yeah. antibodies? Someday all my blues will be a certain OG Pantone color, yep. The blues would be specced perfectly. Shake off. So there's two different, or three different sizes in there. There's a large, a medium, and a small. We won't need the smalls because the power cord isn't being mounted on the and side of the... the uh, these are the mediums. And this is one small. We can actually use this clamp for the cord over at the cord reel. Oh yeah. On the plywood. Me. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's only one? There's two small ones. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say my mom counted wrong. She's gonna get demoted. All right, so. These so then the we got all stainless things. hardware. And what I did was. Mark them and then take it off, yeah, drill them and then put them back. Take right? a Sharpie, mark it, yeah. take it off, drill through. Yep. And we did. So the, the idea was I did wing nuts so that you could take this off. Right, it's easy to come on and off. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's a good idea. It only took me, you know, 12 orders. To try to figure it out. From McMaster to try to get the right ones, yeah. So the reason I don't send these pre-drilled, you know, I could have had the company drill them. Yeah, but you don't know exactly how right, someone's gonna right. need to mount them. Like for us, we're mounting it further back than most yeah. people would. Yeah. You don't need, nobody needs a 100 foot hose, but why not? It fits. A hundred foot up hose fits nicer. I think here it makes more sense. Yep. I'm gonna make sure it's going in straight. Gonna, gonna pull a 90 on it. What they say cross threads are better than no threads. <laughs> I don't know if they say that. <laughs> I think those are the same people that are high tchotchke low. The right, <laughs> same ones. They'd be doing this with a set of a, you know, channel locks. Yeah. No, not channel locks, a uh, crescent wrench. Vice grips. Vice, yeah, vice grips. <laughs> All right, there's our hose. Let's test your, you want me to do it for you? Test what? You want to test your wrapping skills. Well, we're gonna stretch it out first. See if you, it should un uncoil. What do you think this is <laughs> gonna look like in the future? <laughs> it's gonna have, He's like, that hose doesn't fit on this hose reel. So yeah, you gotta wrap it neater, you know, it's, it's gonna be like a ball be sticking out to like here. <laughs> but I think we should adjust the height of the shelf because it's hitting the hose. People are gonna be really young and about me busting his chops. So you're gonna go over someone's garage and you're gonna make fun of them? No, no wonder it looks a little dark in here. It's getting dark outside. No, we don't have the lights on. All, all this time. I'm missing out on a prominent lighting of our, see there's a light, a light right there. Right on the pressure washer. Perfect. It's also got some cooling on there too to keep it cool. There's the vent up top. Mm-hmm. All right, so here's the piping package looks like. Comes in a 36 inch box. All kinds of, all kinds of nice looking stuff. So those valves will go on the inlet and outlet. Mm -hmm. They're three quarter. Inlet and outlet of the uh, CR. CR. There's our T. Yeah. Now remember, we haven't done any long term testing on this. This isn't designed for water. I've actually had somebody do uh, hot water, and the seals can't handle it. it starts leaking a little bit. I would, I would imagine that, yeah. It was it was only about 110 degree water, so if you're doing you're planning on doing this, you probably want to do it in all stainless. Okay. Just providing a full stainless solution like this would probably be like a thousand bucks. Yeah, it wouldn't be cheap. And if anybody hasn't done these before, these are actually indexed. They pop in where they're supposed to, right there. Yeah. There's an actual little key. Yeah. It would make sense to put like a little stainless 90 on the corners of the walls there. I meant to do that at OGHQ as well. That is a great idea, yeah. I can't take credit for that. I forget who it was. I think it was Travis Hawthorne told me that when he said, yeah, you should do that. I'm like, yeah, oh, that's a great idea. I'll get that done. Well, two years later. Is that a special OG wrench? Yeah, well, it's a, it's a pipe wrench. 
Fine Prevost. Yeah. It's the most OG. You could use channel locks if you wanted to, but see how that's designed specifically for that. And it's like it's like 30 bucks, so it's not like, I mean, the piping package, you're already in it for 500, 600 bucks, so it's better to have the right tools. How often, what do I do to service the filters? Um, It'll tell you. Yeah, there's a little gauge on top. See the little gauge right there? As long, once, it, once it's no longer reading zero parts per million, you should uh, order new filters. Order new filters? Yeah. Like, clean them? There's, a, there's this great website, I know it's called obsessgarage.com. They and, sell uh, them. You go in there, they, I think they sell them. Are they registered with the Better Business Bureau? Um, no, definitely not. Or what's a D&B Duns in Barrage Street or whatever, <laughs> full crap? You know, what do you want me to waste money uh, on 1950? All right, so our valves are in. How many pressure washers have you purchased? Different ones? Oh, for uh, the mock-ups and all the... 80 something. Yeah. Wow. You know, 80, 80 plus to date. This, uh... I have to release that spreadsheet. I have to get it done. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is much smarter, Mike. Mocking it up on the ground. That's so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'd, be, we'd have... Um, I'd be putting some uh, drywall uh, putty in the extra holes because I had to move the CR down two inches. <laughs> you know? We'd like, go get some wood putty. Yep. This is like, like our Swiss track squiggly doos. Your swooshes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, this we don't want this all. What is it? Wait a minute, don't tell me. Whopper jawed. Whopper jawed. Yeah. Dang. Caddy wampus whopper jawed. Yeah. yeah. So everybody in PA that watches this is going to know what I'm talking about when I say whopper jawed or just a young folk your age. I don't know, probably. I don't yeah. think so. Whopper jawed. That's another thing. You'll know if you got it in right, if that thing screws on all, almost yeah, all the way by yep. hand. If it doesn't, yep, you're not in right. Something, yeah. And it'll make a funny feel too. It'll feel like it's metal to metal grinding. Yep. And see, that's all the way up against. Yep. That means it's in straight. Yep. All right. So we made an executive decision. We're going to put the wand holder. Yeah, buddy. Got our cabinets done. Our pressure washer just needs to be plumbed by the the plumber's coming tomorrow. Oof. That's a, that's a big day, man. Flooring, pressure washer, hose reels complete. Yep. Um, cabinets. TV. We need to square all that up because it doesn't look square. We have everything centered up. We never measured the I need to put that. I need to put the LG on the center of the cabinet line. Let me do that. This is high execution, low tchotchkes, at least for now. I have a feeling we're never going to see the light of this countertop ever again. <laughs> the the countertop will be... There's going to be Ed Bullion bobbleheads on there. And, uh, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be high on tchotchkes on top of it. <laughs> do you even have VidWiki tchotchkes? I've always say ever seen the stickers. Just, we, we do shirts. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we do the signs, the 55 and 70 mile an hour. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Michelle stole. I mean, where's my Vinwicky shirt all the time? Yeah. I got a little chubby. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. That's yours, huh? Yeah. All right, people. Day five in the books. Tomorrow's a fun day. Just buttoning up all the little things, shelves, doing the security lights. Filling all uh, the bottles to exactly the same depth. Yes, that's a good shelving. idea. Yeah, shelving, shelving, shelving. Putting, out, putting on our detailing supplies. We'll have you build a bucket package. Bucket package! And we'll, guess, we'll get you guessing how much that costs. And yeah, so, I don't think I spilled the beans that, on that yet. That would be a bad Price is Right game for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's really going to be. I'm going to send you an invoice for the bucket, oh, see what happens. The, <laughs> it, it will exceed what I've ever spent on detailing supplies, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah. Well, the buckets, you'll like them, I think. So. Anyway, yeah, today was a long day. It was about 8 o'clock. I'm going to go grab some dinner and uh, come back tomorrow and button this thing up. Got a lot done, though. Yeah. It was thanks. highly productive. Oh, yeah, yeah, pressure washers yeah, pretty much awesome. done. Yeah, so we'll be um, obviously capturing hopefully a clean and we'll, we'll clean it, get the cars all set up in the right place and take photographs, maybe clean off the top of the fridge and everything. Maybe. The yeah. fridge survived though, so the that's, that's a big, uh, that's a big thing. for the home team there. <laughs> we didn't even throw away your uh, beer palm cups. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Get those. Green ones. That was from St. Patrick's Day 2014. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Man, this has been an amazing project. It's so much fun to see the final uh, stuff, all the ideas that we had come together. That's what's so cool. I've almost it. forgotten what it used to look like. We've been in it so that, deep. That's true, yeah. yeah. Well, it'll be fun to all the before pictures. We'll do some before and after. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Bryce will be able to dig that up in the last video. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. We'll wrap this thing up. Hit that bell. I want to punch that one guy in the face. This is, a, this is the worst transition ever. You're just trying to sell stuff to people. I'm like, yeah, you're done right. I'm trying to sell stuff to people. Why do you think I'm doing all this work? Otherwise, I'd be sitting at home. I thought you may have had more energy now. No, 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 no. None of that. We can go get some more ice cream tonight on the way home. Make you feel better. You gotta go eat something delicious tonight. Some birthday cake ice cream. What's well, a good place to eat? This right. turned into exactly, we knew it would, but it, it always turned into exactly what it we always said. does. <laughs> go home five pounds heavier. Pump up that reel to wind it back on and just evenly like lump up on one side. You gotta guide it with your hand, just kinda. We were just talking we're, about that. You're we cracking up about, you call me and say, oh, Matt, uh, this shelf needs a little more space because you just wind it straight, like with no, uh, where it's a big web of hose. This is totally in play. <laughs> <laughs> so we were saying, like, uh, I think there's something wrong with the position of the shelf. And I'm going to be like, uh, you're supposed to just drop the wand, come up and just here, <laughs> and go to the phone, and wind it until it's done, right? That's the, that's the procedure. Yeah. Ripping all the you know the the paints yeah, off the walls inside. There's gonna be a gr uh, groove here <laughs> where it's hugged around. Yeah, yeah, yeah.